Good evening, baby. And welcome to the Charlie Show. Tonight I'm gonna be showing. Hey, Squad Squad. This is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Y'all, Kim Burrell is at it again. She don't know when to doggone quit. She is. She is at the disrespect of the LGBTQ community again. Do she, don't she realize that it was probably a gay person that made that dress she got on? Don't she realize it was a gay person probably that did her makeup? Don't she realize it was a gay person that probably did her hair? Don't she realize she probably got some gay people working for her? Y'all, look at him. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you a video of what I'm talking about. And y'all, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about this. Because Kimberell got issues. This heifer got some serious issues with the LGBTQ community. So sit back and watch and we going to discuss. I'm not bitter, I'm not angry, I'm just aware. I realize that some folk, oh my God, there'll be one way one day and the next day. Can I announce this to y'all? Somebody say, oh, she's so arrogant, get a life. You get a life, you don't know what I've been through. You get you a life. And do it quickly. Because I'm talking from experience. I'm not bitter, I'm not angry, I'm just aware. I realize that some folk, oh my God, there'll be one way one day and the next day they will change on you. Some people thought I was worried about all this mess when the LGBTQ or whoever they was coming after me. I told them I didn't know about no LGBTQ. For all I know, it means let God be true quickly. Oh, by shut That's how I feel about that. I don't know nothing, I don't know nothing else about it. Y'all do what you want to. I'm from the church. I don't know about none of it. Y'all kill me, church people. Y'all kill me being scared to tell the truth about God's word. Y'all kill me with that. With the day I woke up and realized that it just wasn't the world against me, it was hiding fake church people who don't want to own up to the truth of the Bible, didn't want to associate themselves with me, scared to bring me to their churches, canceling assignments, but there's not one door that I've missed. As you can see, ain't a meal I've missed either. And sure ain't losing no sleep. I said it to the devil, whatever you tried, it did not work. Y'all not talking to me. I'm about to close on a $12.3 million edifice in Houston, Texas. I'll send you an invitation when I go in. Woo, 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 woo. I have a right to have an attitude. Because it's my, it's my war mindset. Whatever he tried, I dodged and missed it. You couldn't get me, Negro. You tried to lie on me. I dodged and missed it. You tried to get my character. I dodged and missed it. You trying to dig up mess. I dodged and missed it again. So y'all tell me what y'all say. Am I tripping or is she tripping? Either way, some, 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 some got to be done about this woman getting up in the pulpit saying she's a woman of God and she's spewing hate from the pulpit. God is all about love, baby girl, and you out here spewing pure, unadulterated hate. And then you bragging. You bragging about money. You bragging about property. You bragging because you ain't missed a meal, baby. You could stand to miss a couple of meals. I'm just saying. But you is bragging in the pulpit. And people are okay with you bragging in the doggone pulpit. Like, what is wrong with you? You got doggone issues. You bragging in the pulpit, my sister. God gonna strike you before he strike anybody that's a part of the LGBTQ community. Just know that. 
what is wrong with you? You you need to educate yourself. Because apparently you're not educated, baby. You ain't educated at all. You would you 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 just lie you just lying here walking around here dumb. Okay, as a box of rocks. This is shameful. This is just embarrassing. And me as a black woman, I'm embarrassed to even know that you a black woman. And you out here spewing hate like this. I'm embarrassed to be a whole entire black woman because of you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to step in the shoes of somebody that's a part of the LGBTQ community. They don't choose to be gay. They don't choose to be transgender. They don't, they didn't choose to be this. Who would choose to be gay? Nobody. And they did not choose to be this at all. And you have no respect. That same Bible that you were using against them was used against us, my sister. Okay. That same Bible that you are using was used against us and still, to this day, is used against us. You ought to be ashamed of yourself to use the church, the scripture, the Bible to justify your hate. You really need, need to go sit down. And get your thoughts together. Get your life together. Get your priorities together. Because baby, they ain't together. You ought to be ashamed of yourself to be in the poor pit. Talking the way that you are talking. And people wonder why I don't go to church anymore. This is why. Right here. I read my Bible at home. Because I don't want to be in a, in, in a building that's spewing hate. I refuse to go to a building where a person is supposed to be the, the man of God or the woman of God spewing hate. Because I ain't trying to go to hell for something that you believe and something that you are saying in the poor pit. This is embarrassing. This is humiliating. This is disgusting. Get yourself together. Get out the poor pit. Go, go back to school and educate yourself because you sound dumb. You sound like an idiot. Yeah, I said it. You sound like an idiot. Get yourself together, woman, because you got issues. Deal with your issues and maybe you will sound right. Because you are not of God at all. Okay? You're not at all. But if you made it to the end of my video, y'all, first of all, if you want to have this discussion, let's have this discussion in the comment section. Because I welcome all commentary. Because I want to know what y'all think about this. Okay, but if you made it to the end of my video, y'all, put Kim Burrell in the comment section. Give me those big thumbs up. Get this video to 90 likes, 90 views. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you are an old subscriber, make sure your notifications are on. Share all my videos. I can always say, have fun playing with your nails if you wear nails or if you grow your own. Have fun playing with your makeup if you wear makeup or you're just learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life because God only gives you one. Bye, y'all.